Dana, 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 Dana. Wait a minute, that's the wrong theme. <laughs> okay, dokey buddies, Noir here with another Filipino VTuber analysis, and we have this crocodile girl. But before we start, I just want to say that if you like this series, maybe leave a like to let me know if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any videos. And though I won't promise informing you, <laughs> I won't promise informing you a lot with my with any of my hiatuses. All right, now let's begin with the lore of this croc croc uh, croc crocodile girl. All right, <clears throat> a plain crocodile from the Black Lizard planet. A specific is. Uh, uh, specific, huh? Eh, uh, I'll, I'll, I guess I'll point along. A specific demon lord mechanic saw me and raised me. Now I'm here training myself with games to get revenge on hunters. Hmm. Okay. Uh, before I uh, start commenting on her lore, I know there are some misspelled words and a whole lot of plot holes here. No pun intended. Dairu mentioned the following about her lore. She was a small crocodile just playing in her small pond with her log. Uh, and she, yeah, she has a log where she lays on it and be all sleepy like and just resting. And then suddenly a hunter attacked her with a bang 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 brrr gun. <laughs> but he missed all of his shots like a diddly damn stormtrooper. He's got stormtrooper aim. And as a small helpless crocodile, um, Dairu panicked and swam away and just kept swimming. Just kept swimming. And then she saw that quote unquote demon lord and the shock from his sight knocked her out cold. And... Apparently the demon lord is the mechanic demon lord, which uh, she calls him her pap her papa. And now she's trained to get revenge. And oh yeah, I forgot to note that she is kind of traumatized. So yeah, about that. Uh, what I'm getting here is that Dairu came from a planet called the Black Lizard. Or is that something right? So she's basically an alien of some sorts. So she's so, so she's an alien. She's an alien crocodile girl. She's an alien humanoid crocodile girl. And apparently that world contains hunters and a demon lord. So it's an alien planet with people who owns guns that go bang 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 brr and a demon lord, which I assume can wield magic. Huh. Strange world you've got there, Dairu. I don't know. I think uh, let's just continue. Okay, so her full name is Dairu Kuroko. <laughs> Kuroko, that's a pun. Kuroko is um is a play on words like a. It's a more like a Japan Japanglish, <laughs> Japanglish for Kuroko. All right. So next is her height, and she is 165 centimeters, which makes that uh, converting that into feet. It's five four. Eh, close enough. I'm five five. I'm happy already. And birthday is in June 9. Uh, four more months, and maybe uh, advance happy birthday to you. And if it, and if you watch this on your birthday, then happy birthday, Dairu. And oh yeah, I forgot to mention that. Um, in here in the Philippines, we once held captive the world's largest crocodile. And his name was Lolong. Which is, well, the we named it Lolong because it was... I, I, I don't know why we named it Lolong, but it was named after a veteran crocodile hunter named Ernesto Guloran. Which his nickname is Lolong. Because, well, he's... Is old, or maybe uh, the name Lolong could literally just mean long grandpa. Well, not well, not literally. It figuratively means long grandpa, because because Lolong, when he was uh, the first discovered, uh, his age was approximately 50 years old, which makes him more of a geezer. <laughs> He's hella grumpy, and we call our grandfather's Lolo, 
and of course long because he's a huge crocodile he's 20 feet tall the games that she likes is devil may cry god of war and rhythm game i see that i can see that she is a big fan of hack and slash games but yeah uh, dmc and god of war are pretty cool and god of war armageddon is about to be released soon the uh, rhythm games like osu and uh, other rhythm games but uh, like love life i guess she, yeah, she also likes she likes love life but to osu i can definitely see i can definitely see something on that because when she mentioned that she is she's training to get revenge osu is pretty good for like it trains your awareness that's the that's the thing i'm looking for and okay for likes she likes sleeping. Well, most crocs just, uh, most crocodiles just lay in the water just waiting for the prey. It's almost like they're sleeping, but, uh, and also I need, I need, I also need to point out that she said that she likes coffee too, but uh, she didn't include it on the list because she likes sleeping and coffee just makes her hyper. Well, coffee makes everyone hyper. She likes singing. Well, she said that she's terrible at singing, but hey, everyone, everyone's got their own judgment about themselves. I'm sure her singing voice is fine. And she likes drawing too. Yeah, um, I can definitely see that you like drawing because of the, uh, the tiny little crocodile that you drew. Hot dog. <laughs> okay. Okay, you funny little crocodile. Okay, so hot dog is, well, sometimes it's a hot dog, like a literal hot dog, but <laughs> ha, very funny. Okay, so hot dog is more of a Filipino thing. It's more of a, um, a meme. It's because of, it's maybe because of two things. People laugh with just ha, and some people who didn't get what other people say and they say, Huh? And then the initial reply will be Hot dog. Try it to some Filipinos out there. It works half the time. Pre, ano sinabi mo? Huh? Hot dog. Milo. Ah, the staple of every single Filipino's morning. Well, some Filipino's mornings. Uh, Milo is... <laughs> Milo is pretty much the only chocolate drink well, almost the only chocolate powder drink we get to drink most of the time. Horror. Okay, then if you like horror, then how about this question? Freddy or Jason? Now, for dislikes, she doesn't like jump scares. But you said you like horror. A bit hypocritical there, buddy. She doesn't like confined space. Ah, so Dairu is uh, claustrophobic. Going outside. Mm, yeah, uh, <laughs> she's. I guess she's introverted too. Most introverts don't like to go outside. She doesn't like heat. Yep, true on them crocodiles. I mean, they are cold-blooded reptiles. And lastly, pineapple on pizza. Hmm. Okay, I'm not going to dive into this opinion too much because this is the most delicious controversy to put up with. Now for the list of the anime that she likes. Princess Principal, Love Life, Gochumon, Love Lab, and Working. I don't know much of that, but I do know that Love Life is more of a idol musical, um, a music, an idol musical anime. And... I believe Princess Principal is like a romance thing. She likes it. She likes though. She likes the musical and romance, romantic uh, anime. All right. So her, for her favorite manga or manhwa, which is Korean manga, I can definitely see a pattern here. She likes OPMCs. For her goals, she wants to have a billion subs. Well, um, I wish you Godspeed for that, because that is a very big goal you got there. A better PC. Yo ho ho, bruh, same. I also, I too want a better PC. I'm just stuck with my potato laptop as well. Playing Devil May Cry 5 or the new God of War? Yeah, the new God of War, I'm, I, everyone is pretty hyped for that, but DMC5, 
Uh, you do you, buddy. Uh, improve your mic. Uh, yeah. Well, the pandemic's still going on as of now, and uh, we can't really get any sort of new equipment, so we're just gonna be stuck with our home, uh, home scarred uh, equipment. If that's the correct term. Karaoke stream. Well, you can do a karaoke stream. I'm pretty sure you'll be fine with your singing. And the DDS army. Uh, yeah. The die, die hard, die ru arm. Uh, die ru, die hard squad. All right. So next up is the rigor. I believe. I think it's the the rigor for the um, the model is uh, quote unquote demon specific demon lord mechanic papa machiakio well that's uh that's pretty cool adding in it to the lore and the character art is by k or yoshiku tf angel yeah they are the art style is pretty good it's cool now as for her character design uh, i managed to get a uh, reference sheet on her twitter uh, thank you for that now so let's let's talk about that so the way that she looks now she gives off a punk kind of feeling like uh, she's acting tough well crocodiles are indeed tough most of the time her color scheme is green which of course is the natural colors of crocodiles with some whites and black she sports a white revealing top and maybe two pairs of short shorts yeah. a very fancy looking belt and one green slanting belt that sticks out her right leg has a dark green stocking while her left leg is bare and has two belt straps on her thigh black leather boots and a black jacket and apparently this is where the Kuro part comes from. Well, uh, Kuro means black in Japanese. Her hair is white with some green highlights to it. And yeah, oh yeah, I almost forgot about that cute little croc cap she's wearing. <laughs> Look at that croc cap. He's giving a winky face. Okay, so now I got the, I got some other information written down on my hit list <clears throat> in my notepad. Now, she said that the first console she owned was a PS1, and she played Guitar Hero there. Yeah, uh, PS1, that was the... That was, that was a trend before. Now it's just uh, a little piece of junk with bits of memories in it. And Guitar Hero, and that's, and that's where I assume that where her love for rhythm games uh, began to grow because of Guitar Hero and it's just them. It's pretty cool. I guess I too played Guitar Hero. It was a Guitar Hero Rock the 80s. Yeah, that's cool. She made a Valorant collab with a Japanese VTuber named Hime. I haven't checked that out yet, but I heard that it was it was cool. It was it was fine. And uh, she knows JoJo. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> Yeah, she's uh, she makes JoJo references once in a while. <laughs> yeah, she's got a Manny Pacquiao mask overlay. <laughs> Just to that, uh, that's 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 actually pretty funny. Not gonna lie. And uh, Manny Pacquiao is a is our quote unquote national uh, boxer. Also, apparently she can she can become invisible. I don't know if that's a if that's a thing. And bawa lang bastos. Yep, you shouldn't be vulgar. You shouldn't be offensive. You should always be nice. And that's about it. That's all I have for this analysis. And if you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, or maybe subscribe. And also, if you want to check out the uh, Dairu, yeah, I'm gonna link down the description below as always, and so you can check her out show her some support and let her reach up to a hundred subs and make her happy that is all see ya